So back to back. I, I know that you did a show with, um, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. I looked it up and I'm still not convinced I'm saying it right, but Jean Miro. Uh, Juan Miro. Juan Miro. And I want to know how did you connect with him and how did you, did you, was he doing work and you were doing work and you both went, Hey, I like your style, buddy. Or how, how did you two connect? Um, it was a bit of luck for me because what happened was that uh, I was an undergraduate at university and I was offered a, an exhibition, a solo exhibition in London at the London gallery, which is the headquarters of surrealism in, in London at the time. And they said, oh, you'll be sharing it with Jean Elion, a French uh, artist. And I said, fine, he's a good artist. That's, that's great. Then at the last minute, they said, so sorry, he, he can't, uh, we can't get his work in time. But we have uh, enough work here by Juan Miro. Uh, and he will be uh, the artist with you. Of course, I was thrilled because uh, for me personally, and it's a very personal thing to me, he is the greatest artist of the 20th century. And so it was wonderful to... Uh, exhibit alongside him um, because uh, and I have to admit that I have obviously had some influence from him um, but uh, what happened was then in the 60s uh, he came to see me at the zoo uh, where I was a curator at the London Zoo and he came and spent a day with me at the zoo and that was uh, a really wonderful time because uh, I got to know him much better and later on I went to see him in Palma in Mallorca where he has his studio. Uh, I uh, I have nothing but admiration for Miro. By the way, I should explain, some people think he's a woman because his first name is spelled Joan, J-O-A-N. And if you don't know about modern art, you say, oh, what, uh, who is this female artist called Joan Miro? But I should explain that the Catalans who live in the uh, east of uh, Spain, uh, the Catalans, and he is a Catalan, they have a different spelling for Juan. J-U-A-N, which of course is the Spanish for John. So he's really John Miro, but uh, instead of spelling him Juan, which is the way you pronounce it, they spell it Joan, which is very confusing. <laughs> anyway, that solves, that sorts out the Miro problem. Uh, my connection with Juan Miro <laughs> is that when I was a little girl, my father loved um, uh, Spain and he traveled to Barcelona a lot. I, th I think that's where for the, for the S they say bar like Barth Barcelona. Barcelona, yes. It, Barcelona. It's, so there's a difference between well, Spanish and Mexican. Mexican it's Barcelona, but in Spain it's Barcelona. So it's yeah. Buenos Dias in Spain and Buenos Dias in Mexico. <laughs> he he loved that, but he, it was either he, him or my mother brought home a poster. It might have been from. The Guggenheim. I really don't know, but it was a poster of Juan Miro's art, and it was. I, I my memory serves. It was either in the kitchen or in the bathroom, but I would just spend so much time looking at it, and you know, it, and it was just. I was young, and I didn't. I didn't know what I thought. Honestly, I just remember being mesmerized by it, and then feeling very chuffed that I knew who that artist was. You know, so because he's recognizable, as are you. I if I saw any kind of any reference or anywhere I would see his art, I would go, oh yes, that's uh, Jean Moreau. That's, oh, that's a Moreau, you know? <laughs> and so I've, he's been in my mind since as long as I can even remember, you know, before Van Gogh or Picasso, you know, they're all great. But so I felt very proud of that. And when I saw that you had done a show with them, I went, oh, yeah. I have connections. He's a wonderful man. I, uh, I have enormous admiration for him. Uh, um, and um, it was such a pleasure to spend a day with him. Uh, he, I knew that his very first work when he was a child, the earliest work of his published, was a huge uh, snake, a great big uh, curly python. And so I took him into, this, into the reptile house at the zoo and wrapped a huge python around him. But what I hadn't anticipated was that he was rather a, sh a small man, and and it nearly <laughs> nearly knocked him over. But it was, I, there are photographs of me trying to hold him, hold this snake around his neck. Uh, but he loved it. He he loved anything strange like that. Um, but the, what was so fascinating about him, uh, you see it in Picasso as well. Is is the eyes? Um, Miro was dressed like a Spanish banker, very polite, very beautiful suit, very correct, very courteous. 
you never know that he was this uh, wild artist. But if you looked at his eyes, he had the eyes of a child. And when he saw something, I, I gave him a big hornbill to put on his uh, wrist. And he, he looked at this hornbill and, and his eyes were the eyes of a child seeing something wonderful on Christmas morning, you know, it was that sort of, you no, know, he, he, he had, a, had a, a great presence and um, was the most original artist of, of the 20th century uh, to, for me personally.